Douglas is the capital and largest town of the Isle of Man, with a population of 27,938 people. It is located at the mouth of the River Douglas, and on a sweeping bay of two miles. The River Douglas forms part of the town's harbour and main commercial port. Douglas was a small settlement until rapid growth occurred as a result of links with the English port of Liverpool in the 18th century. Further population growth came in the following century, resulting during the 1860s in a staged transfer of the high courts, the lieutenant governor's residence, and finally the seat of the legislature, Tinwald, to Douglas from the ancient capital, Castletown. The town serves as the island's main hub for business, finance, legal services, shipping, transport, shopping, and entertainment. The annual Isle of Man TT motorcycle races start and finish in Douglas. History Early history in the absence of any archaeological data, it is possible that the origins of the town may be revealed by analysis of the original street and plot pattern. The discovery of a bronze weapon in central Douglas, and the large Balaquail Viking treasure hoard on the outskirts, both in the 1890s hint at the early importance of the site now occupied by Douglas. Scholars agree that the name of the town derives from early Celtic Dubo Glacio, meaning Black River. Douglas is twice referred to in the monastic Chronicle of the Kings of Man and the Isles, first in 1192, when the monks of St. Mary's Abbey at Russian were transferred there for a four-year stay, then again in 1313, when Robert, King of Scotland, spent the night of the Monastery of Douglas or on his way to seize Castle Russian. These may be references to the site of the later nunnery, a little upstream from the port. The first detailed documentation shows that in 1511 there were only 13 resident households in the settlement clustered north of the harbour, most of the property there classifying as chambers, for which rent was paid by non-residents including clergy officials and landowners from elsewhere on the island. This suggests that the origins of the town's nucleus were as a non-urban port. Current speculation links the store buildings with the Irish sea herring fishery, and the import-export trade. Growth and development in 1681 Thomas Denton described Douglas as the place of greatest resort on the Isle of Man and by 1705 a clear picture of the early town emerges, with hints that its residential, market, and military defense functions were growing in importance alongside the port facility. The ensuing 60 years saw the town thrive as imposing merchants' houses, large warehouses, keys and a pier were provided to accommodate the burgeoning, running trade. One of the stimuli for the town to expand. Other forms of trade also grew, and following the Revestment Act of 1765, Douglas began to reap the benefits of transatlantic trade. Due to the discovery of the New World, and cooperation on a local level with Liverpool, legitimate merchants who rose to prominence over the period included the Murrays, the Moors, and the Bacons. The town's later prosperity was facilitated by the low cost of living, and favourable legal status enjoyed by English debtors and half-pay offices. The initial growth and development of the town owed much to its natural harbour, since greatly expanded and improved. Over the course of the 18th century, the town's population rose significantly, from 800 in 1710 to nearly 2,500 in 1784. Throughout the 19th century, the town's demographics began to follow the same trends as the United Kingdom, due to the Industrial Revolution the growing number of people wanting to holiday in the area from the early 19th century forged a new industry, and from around 1870 onwards, the town was transformed into a leading holiday resort. Juxtaposed with this prosperity were the increasingly unsanitary conditions, and poor quality housing, this, again, reflected a trend seen across the United Kingdom. The open sewage, middens, and smell from the harbour at low tide all contributed to the town's uncleanliness. 
oil and gas lamps first appeared in late 1820s and 1830s. The first hospital to join the dispensary was built in 1850, and Douglas Bay became home to one of the town's most iconic pieces of scenery in 1832, when the Tower of Refuge was built to offer shelter and provisions for sailors awaiting rescue. Douglas, in the first half of the 19th century though, was often characterized by the destitution of its population and the high number of epidemics, in particular, cholera, that they suffered from. The rise of Douglas as the social and economic stronghold of the Isle was recognized in 1869, when it became the home of the island's government the Tinwald, and therefore the capital, an honour previously held by Castletown, a smaller town in the south of the island. Douglas's political landscape also changed significantly in the 19th century, in spite of the conservatism shown by some townsfolk. In 1844 for example, at a public meeting, the idea of a town council was rejected in favour of retaining the system of town high bailiffs. However, an act passed later that decade, which did not include opt-out clauses, was accepted, and in 1860, Douglas elected its first town council, which was predominantly middle class in its makeup. The town commissioners were able to tackle the town's problems with greater efficiency, and by 1869, the sewage problem had been largely taken care of. The commissioners also designed to alter the anachronistic architecture of Douglas, built during the era of fishing and trading, and no longer amenable or safe for tourists. The proportion of the Manx population living in Douglas was also expanding, with 35% living there by 1891. The Victorian and later modernisation of the town was achieved at the expense of the original maze-like layout of the oldest streets. These were cleared away in the new street schemes and slum clearances of the 1870s to 1920s. The town's infrastructure was radically altered in order to convenience tourists, and in 1878, the Lock Promenade was constructed. In 1870, there were 60,000 visitors annually. By 1884, this had grown to 182,000. In 1887, 310,916 visited for Queen Victoria's Golden Jubilee. Seafaring links the earliest organized services emerged between Douglas and Whitehaven, established by William Nicholson in the 1750s. More formally, Nicholson's packet service began in 1765 or 1766, and the post office mail contract was secured by 1782. Sailings were irregular and heavily dependent on weather conditions. Steamer services brought a considerable improvement, the first regular link being available from 1819. The formation of what became the Isle of Man Steam Packet Company in 1830 led to greatly improved services, and also laid the foundations for growth in both cargo and tourist traffic. The Royal National Lifeboat Institution has a lifeboat station at Douglas. The first lifeboat station in the port was established in 1802 and closed in 1895 with a period of an operation between 1851 and 1868. In 1825 it was one of the first lifeboat stations to be provided with a purpose-built lifeboat. This was at the request of Sir William Hillary, the founder of the institution. The current station, established in 1874, operates the time-class lifeboat Sir William Hillary. There are three memorials to Sir William in Douglas, one in St. George's Church where he was buried in 1847, one on Lock Promenade, and the other on Douglas Head near where in 1832 he established the Tower of Refuge. Recent history during World War I and World War II, Douglas and other parts of the Isle of Man were home to internment camps for enemy aliens. Douglas held seven out of the ten Manx internment camps during World War II, including Hutchinson, Metropole, Central, Palace, Granville and Sefton Camp. Sections of the promenade were cordoned off and many guest houses were used for the purpose.
The ward head of the island are commemorated on the Douglas War Memorial. Douglas is now home to the island's offshore financial services industry and main shopping centre. The town was the birthplace of the Gibb brothers, Morris, Robin, both deceased, and Bari, the members of the 1970s band The Bee Gees. Douglas was home to the Summerland Leisure Centre. In 2011 Douglas hosted the Commonwealth Youth Games. Geography Douglas is situated on the east of the island near the confluence point of two rivers, the Doe and the Glass. At Douglas, the rivers flow through the quay and into Douglas Bay. A gently sloping valley runs inland. Hills lie to the northwest and southeast. The town is surrounded by several other smaller towns and villages, most notably Onken to the north and Union Mills to the west. Climate The weather reporting station closest to Douglas is the coastal weather station at Ronalds Way about 7 miles southwest of Douglas. The highest temperature recorded in Ronalds Way stands at 28.9 degrees Celsius, recorded on July 1983. On average, a temperature of 25 degrees Celsius is recorded 0.8 days per year at Ronalds Way and the highest temperature of the year reaches an average of 24.1 degrees Celsius. On average, 14.5 days of air frost is recorded in Ronalds Way for the period of 1981 to 2010. The lowest temperature recorded in Ronalds Way is minus 9.1 degrees Celsius recorded in December 1961. For the period of 1981 to 2010, the lowest temperature of the year reaches an average of minus 3.4 degrees Celsius demography. The Isle of Man census 2011 lists the population of Douglas as 27,938, increased from a population of 25,347 in 2001. The town has 33.06% of the island's total population of 84,497. Landmarks Douglas has a number of attractions and items of interest. The Tower of Refuge is a small castle-like shelter built upon Conister Rock in Douglas Bay as a sanctuary for shipwrecked sailors. Construction was instigated by Sir William Hillary, founder of the RNLI. Douglas Head is home to the Grand Union Camera Obscura which has recently undergone restoration and is open to the public during the summer months. Other artifacts and remnants of Victorian tourism can still be found on walks around the area. The horse-drawn trams that run along the promenade from the sea terminal to the Manx Electric Railway Station from spring to early autumn. Steam trains run 15 miles from Douglas Railway Station to Port Erin in the south of the island. The grandstand on Glen Crutchery Road marks the start and finish of the annual TT races and various other motorsports. The Gaiety Theatre and the Villa Marina are popular venues for all manner of stage acts, from rock music to comedy to drama to ballet. The Gaiety Theatre is one of the best surviving examples of the work of Frank Matcham and dates from 1900. Both venues have recently undergone extensive renovations. The award-winning Manx Museum in Kingswood Grove is a treasure house which contains many of the most important cultural artifacts relating to the Manx nation. Some of the highlights include the Calf of Man crucifixion stone, the pagan lady's necklace from the Viking excavations at Peel Castle, and the largest collection of Archibald Knox materials. It also houses the National Art Collection and the National Archives. The Jubilee Clock is a street clock built in 1887 in commemoration of the Golden Jubilee of Queen Victoria's reign. It is located at the foot of Victoria Street and Lock Promenade. The location also marks one terminus of the Upper Douglas Cable Tramway. Other buildings of interest include Isola Restaurant, in John Street, and the Douglas Hotel, on the North Quay. Both merchants' houses from the mid-18th century, the Castle Mona, a magnificent seaside mansion built by John Murray, 4th Duke of Athol in 1804, currently awaiting refurbishment, and the Lock Promenade, a magnificent curving terrace of former boarding houses dating from the 1870s.
Douglas is becoming increasingly renowned as it saw the first architectural essays of the arts and crafts architect Bailey Scott. The Breakwater Extension which was completed in 1983 was opened by Princess Alexandra and built outside the existing smaller one, which carried a rail-mounted crane. The sunken gardens on Loch Promenade were created as a result of the widening of the promenade at the turn of the 20th century. A construction line was installed for this task. Sport. Douglas is the start and finish point for the Isle of Man TT which is the biggest classic road racing event in the world. The race has been a part of the FIM Motorcycle Grand Prix World Championship but is not a part of the series due to the track's safety record and because the track is situated on public roads. The Isle of Man Cricket Club was formed in 1930 later reformed as the IOM Cricket Association and then being elected a member of the International Cricket Council in 2004 The National Sports Centre, a large multi-sports centre and athletics stadium is located on Pool Rose Road. The NSC is owned by the Department of Tourism and Leisure of the Isle of Man government and operated by the Manx Sport and Recreation. The King George V Bowl multi-use stadium is located on Pool Rose Road. It is owned by Douglas Borough Council. Douglas is home to eight of the 17 football clubs that compete in the Isle of Man Football League, Corinthians AFC, who play their home games at Nobles Park. Douglas and District FC, who play their home games at Groves Road, Pull Rose. Douglas Royal FC, who play their home games at the National Sports Centre, Groves Road. Gymnasium FC, who play their home games at Tromode Park, Tromode Road. Police AFC, who play their home games at Groves Road, Pull Rose which they share with Pull Rose United. Pull Rose United AFC who play their home games at Groves Road, Pull Rose, St. George AFC, who play their home games at Glen Crutchery Road, St. Mary's AFC, who play their home games at the Bowl, Pull Rose Road, Panoramas of Douglas Bay.